Hi, I'm the fairer half of the wild flipper. I'm Lisa. My husband Dave and I, we have a part-time, almost full-time reseller's business where we um, find things and then flip them for profit. I love things of beauty and, and jewelry and things that are unique in that way. My husband, well, he's a bit of a geek. <laughs> if you're into Magic the Gathering and Naruto, comic books, salt and pepper shakers, um, he's your guy. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoy the journeys that we take you on. Today, I wanted to talk to you about one of the things that I really, really love getting. And I, I enjoy researching them so much. And they are a important part of my part of the reseller business. And that are, those are religious items, whether they be artifacts, whether they be um, iconography, or whether they be a simple piece of jewelry. I love my religious items. So I thought today, I would show you some of them that I have right now and explain a little bit of my thought process on them. Some of these are extremely rare and extremely fragile. Some of them are a little bit less rare, but are still infinitely cool. So we're going to start with things like this. <laughs> this is a simple rosary. This is a plastic rosary made with, uh, I believe this is hemp cord. And I mentioned that it's, you know, a simple rosary because it is. So when I get things like this, they go into a lot of, quote, religious jewelry or religious items. And that's what this will go in. It's lovely, but it's not something that will list individually on the shop. Same thing with beautiful, beautiful pieces like this. See, this is a hematite cross with a rhinestone in the center, and it will go in there as well. Then I get things like, you know, simple crosses, a stainless steel cross, a little bit of gold tone. That goes in the lot. Wonderful pieces of stone. See that stone cross? Isn't that just beautiful. That would make a lovely pendant. I just think that's stunning. So we get things like that. And then, of course, you know, bracelets, the, the simple cross things that many people get. This is uh, dichroic glass. Isn't that lovely? Then we get the things that are beyond awesome. For example, this isn't in the best shape, but I loved it when I found it. This is the Ten Commandments. All of these charms are a commandment. And it's on a gold tone. There's nothing fancy schmancy about it. It's just a gold tone chain, but it's the Ten Commandments. And I believe it is missing one of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. All, all ten are there. Yeah. All Ten Commandments are there. Um, it just has this thing in the center, which probably anything could go on. But I just, it, it's, so lovely and so unique. I, I'm not used to finding things like this in my jewelry lots. But then every once in a while, we purposefully purchase jewelry lots that I know will contain beautiful pieces such as this. Sorry, it's moving so quickly. This is a beautiful rosary. And it's new with tag. And it says, America needs Fatima. This is Our Lady of Fatima. 
on the back. It has the dates of 20, uh, 1917 to 2017. It is a stunning crucifix. I don't think I'm getting that in the stunning crucifix, isn't it? I love this one. I absolutely love this one. So we got that lovely rosary. Then, here, I don't want to put that over there. But then while we got that, we were looking and we saw that this was with it. And you may be saying to yourself, self, that is just so simple. And it is. Very simple. Also, very, very, very old. It's marked France. It's extremely light. I have not yet tested to see if this is sterling. I don't think it is. But it is so, so light and so very, very old and delicate that I'm not sure. It may be 100 years old. I can't call it antique because I don't know if it's 100 plus years old, but it's definitely vintage and I adore it. Then we find things like this, which I'm hoping you can see it. There's that side. Oh, that is not focused real well. But then there's this side. This is Pope John Paul II and a medal for him. We have saints medals. St. Christopher, I get St. Christopher all the time. I find St. Jude's medals. Um, the, the, and oh, I meant to dig it out and I, I didn't, and I'm really sorry I didn't. The, there's the uh, Mother Mary medal that, that we have on the shop. Just incredible medals. Now this one is, hold on. <laughs> um, Saint, I'm trying to read it, Di Diamphanus, and it says pray for us. So I've got, I've got her, which is one I haven't found before. And I love this. This is a small bracelet. The bracelet itself is only like six inches, but it's a heavy bracelet. And with this heavy chain comes a double metal. That's Mary. There's the Miracle Mary M on the back there. And then this is the Mary's Prayer. It's the Ave Maria right there. Isn't that just beautiful? This is mixed metals. It's not sterling, but I love it. I just love getting these pieces. Why do I love getting these pieces? Because there's so much history in them. There's so much love and attachment and energy to them. This is an abalone and silver tone cross bracelet. I love it. Then we get some other things. I want to show you these. I always pick these up. Always do. We've got religious books that we pick up. This is completely in German. Oops. Oh my goodness. And I forgot it had cards inside. But it does. It has these um, note cards inside as well. These are very, very old. So I picked these up. Absolutely love these. We've sold some recently um, that we didn't expect to sell and they sold quite well. Programs. We've got some beautiful Easter programs we've had sell Lent programs that are they're they're thicker they're not like what you would get 
in a church service for four pages. These are really thick programs. And when we come across them, we just love it. Okay. There are one, two, three, four things I want to show you. And I'm going to start with this one. This cross, here we go, back it up a little bit, is a little bit different from every other cross I've found. And I don't know if it is sterling or anything. I haven't tested this. I've been scared to because in each station of the cross, it has the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, and Mary. And it's beautifully carved it, it, or detailed. It's detailed on the back as well. And I find it stunning. Part of me wants to clean it because you can tell it's, it's a little tarnished. And I, part of me wants to clean it, but I know that other people like that old patina. So I, I don't know whether to clean this one or not, but I love it. Then there is this. Bring this closer for you to see. This is a micro mosaic. Let me do something here. It's a micro mosaic. And in the center there is a small picture of Pope Pius XII. And it says Rome on it. It's not sterling. It's brass on the back. But it is stunning. The detail in this is incredible. I love it. I love it. When we put this on, on our eBay store, I'm believing that this is probably going to be um, around $40 is what I saw it comped at. But that's not the point. The point is it's so beautiful. And you know that this was cared for and has so much love in it. Speaking of cared for and love and things that are beautiful, this is very tiny very tiny, tiny, tiny Mary with blue enamel. It is a, this is what's called a scapula. It goes right here around the, the scapular area. Just a tiny little metal. But then we have these. This is very, very old. This is a scapular. It's called a scapular necklace because it's supposed to go around that. And this one, I believe, say it says, uh, St. Simon Stock, pray for us on this side. And on this side, it's, yeah, it's Our, La Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Monks would wear these, devotees would wear these. It was a sign of, of extreme devotion. And we came across these and were stunned when we found them. They are gorgeous, are they not? And then I have a final thing I wanna show you. Well, two more things. This, simple postcard, right? But it's got a little bit of holographic action to it. It's from the 50s or 60s, and it's The Last Supper, and I think it's gorgeous. But then we have these. This was something that when we got these, we have two of them. We were a little bit befuddled as to what they were. And so my husband, Dave, who is a research guru, mind you, reached out to some friends and asked some questions and found out that these are very, very old and are very, very delicate. This is celluloid, which is one of the very first types of plastic that was ever created. This is celluloid. These are Christmas ornaments. 
This is a church in Germany. St. Stephen's? He doesn't Saint know. St. Peter's. St. Peter's in Germany. And the, these were given out from the church. That's the only place they were. And we have two of them. They are stunning. They are also extremely <laughs> delicate. This one, you can see the age on the celluloid. But they are so awesome. Since my voice is on there, can yes. I throw a correction in there for please, you? Please, please. The scapulas are scapulars. Scapulars, scapulars. excuse me, scapulars. Yes. A scapula is a bone. That's that's what I was saying when I, I was pointing to the bone when I said yeah. scapula. They're okay. scapulars. Scapulars. <laughs> We're a great team. We really are. So I just wanted to show you these and show you why we love when we find metals and when we find things like that because we know these things were loved there's so much positive energy so much devotion in these and they're stunning these are things of beauty that i talk about when i talk about how i like jewelry and things of beauty these to me are things of beauty so I'm glad you spent a little bit of your time with me today to see why we're wild about religious items. And I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you like this kind of video, please like, um, subscribe, comment, comment, share, do all that stuff. Let your friends know that there's another flipper family that's kind of wild, if you get my meaning. Um, check out our eBay store, which is Wild Hail Sales. There's a Facebook page, The Wild Flipper, here on YouTube, and more. So check us out, like, subscribe, and share, and join us next time. Who knows what we will be finding that we will be sharing with you, but we love doing it. Until then, bye, and we'll see you on the wild side.